your voice because some people have eggs, they have warm eggs, other people drink hot water, <laughs> people eat salt, other people Ooh, salt. honey. Oh yeah, the honey one is right. <laughs> I'm not sure about the salt thing. Uh, do I have a secret? Yes, I do. And no, I'm not going to share it. <laughs> Am I being fair? No, no, it's cool. At least we know there's something. Okay, yeah. No, no, there is. There is. But the trick to everything is warm up, hey? Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have single school choirs, of course, I would imagine, gospel groups, I would imagine, youth <laughs> choirs, I would imagine. Fill me in, I'm a listening. Of, a lot of choir, a lot of choir. I did, um, I started singing when I was very young and I started off with a Sunday school choir. From Sunday school choir to a youth choir to a church choir and to a school choir and I've also been conducting choirs like the Vinduk High School Choir, the Lingo College Choir, you name it, a lot of choirs. So mm. I, I'm a conductor, I'm a choral person, I love to sing solo with choir with anybody. Mm. I think Namibisal has a way to go with live music, honestly. My personal opinion, the race of the world or the race of the country can disagree, but we still have a long way to go with live music. And I think that is what the four of us stand for what is and stand for is we believe in live music. We be, we believe in setting ourselves out there, being vulnerable, um, and being vulnerable obviously is when you perform live because anything can go wrong there. So yeah. So obviously, you know, after you lost some and you won some, I'm sure you have a very fair conclusion of where you're taking the rest, right? Mm -hmm. Where is it to? Um. Climbing the ladder, I'm gonna get there to the top. That's my vision, my mission, my aim. To after five years, we will talk something else. So I'm, I'm going. I'm getting there. Okay. Any album? Yes. Um, at the moment, we were trying to do cover versions just to get our foot in the door and to get our audience to see if people would really relate to us and stuff. But yeah, we plan on coming up with a single and a, and a, and a video first. So while people are getting used to that, we will be busy with our album. So, and we plan on including different producers so that it doesn't just sound monotonous and the same beats over and over again, because people get bored. And then there's a little um, song from, 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 from Zimbabwe. Is it Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. BP. It's it's a it's a traditional song, which basically which basically talks about a lady's blood pressure being high. But the reason why the blood pressure is being high is because she is she's wondering about tomorrow, where food is going to come from tomorrow. So you know that's what we women do. That's what we mothers do. Uh, you worry about your children. You worry about tomorrow. So that's basically what it is. It's called it's called BP. So blood pressure. Basically, oh, yes. So, <laughs> in <Okay>. a nutshell. <laughs>
one? Are you the one that talks too much? Are you the quiet <laughs> one in the group? <laughs> Okay, I would say I'm the eldest in the group, and yeah, they would say I'm the simple one in the group. I don't know why, but I'm, I would say I'm more the laid back one. We all talk a lot. Like when we're together, we talk so much that the band at times they just start playing while we're still talking, <laughs> but then we know, okay, now it's our time to sing. So, um,. We have different flavors of essence. So in the four of us, um, I'm the ginger essence, Janae is the vanilla essence, Esme is the caramel, I the chocolate essence, and Siobhan is the caramel essence. So I would say being the ginger essence, I am the claw. <laughs> wow, all I know is I'm living my dream. And you have your ups, you have your downs, you ha and you must compromise, of course. Compromise is very important. So it's important for the four of us to compromise. Um, and also juggling between our solo careers as well. But for me personally, I love being with the girls. It's like the complete me. And when we're with the band, it's even better. Because it's nice, it's lovely to perform live and to perform with live music and live band. So. In the group, you're the girl with the scratchy nails or you're the quiet one. <laughs> Or you are just that wild one. <laughs> In the group, I'm the, the chocolate one. Because <laughs> we've got the, the caramel, we've got the vanilla, we've got the ginger. So I'm the chocolate, I'm the, the fabulous chocolate. <laughs> the very sweet, sweet chocolate. I just, I just want to say something. Yesterday, guys, women, because it's something for women. That I want to say something for women. Okay. It's a proverb from Armenian. Huh? A woman is like the moon. Some night, some night, she's silver. And other, she's gold. Wow. And I like that. It's for you guys. Yes. Thank you. So beautiful. You make me feel like a natural woman. Um, then we're doing natural woman because we believe we are natural.
been going it's been like this since that and it's still going and it's gonna go and <laughs> <laughs> okay except the sound do you write do you compose do you arrange oh, do you yes. play guitar oh, do you yes. play something i compose i also play a little bit of piano not that i can play but i can accompany myself i know the the real piano players like Kali them will judge me but I'm trying I'm trying you know and I'll get where they are so um, yeah I do a little bit of guitar also I compose I write okay hi 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 everybody hello hi hi my name is Esme and you are watching Sessions Studio 6 NBC this I would say me being a live performer for so long, I would say Studio 6, big ups, because so far only the NTN has obviously the last band standing, which is trying to promote live music. And Studio 6 coming up with this one and then the television version, I mean, things can only get better. So I hope this won't be like a one-time project, like a lot of other projects that have come up like the Cell One Road to Fame, the Trusco thing that just came and it went. But then with this one, I have a good feeling about it. And I feel it, it is gonna go on. And I mean, we all here to help out. And the more artists come on board, start performing live, to with Siobhan this time. Oh yes, Siobhan will be here this time. <laughs> she will come. She's so anxious, she can't wait. She feels she missed out, but she will be here. Hi, this is Avo. you watching Sessions Studio 6. Looks like another love to get on. 
100 children, 294 women, 165 men, plus 200 missing. Total, 959 Namibian refugees murdered in Kasinga. I was not only uh, mentally traumatized, I was also uh, physically traumatized. So to me, every step that I make each and every day reminds me of, uh, of that event. And I took it as part of my life and just to help me cope with it. is a national day and it's exactly for the purpose of remembering taking stock of what happened on that occasion and of that day not since 1904 1908 genocide had we had namibians so many of them at one place on the same day being killed and on that, we have taken a vow when we were fighting for independence, never to forget and always to remember the comrades, the friends, the relatives who died, not for anything else, but just for your yearning to gain independence and freedom of their people and their country. thinking that um, more have to be done because um, I don't know whether whatever happened in Kasinga is well documented. We really need to, to, to write history about Kasinga and um, our kids and the, the next generation also need to know the history where we came from. And I'm also um, proposing that if our government can um, take some of the survivors so that we can go back to Kasinga. Like in, on, on, on the 4th of May, maybe we can go there and pay homage at the site itself. Um, there are many views and discussions. One is naturally never to forget that spot where so many of our people were buried in a mass grave. The other one, and there are many discussions now within the party and within the government, is to exhume those bones and maybe create a memorial shrine like we did at Enana, or even transfer them to Enana Memorial Shrine because there is still space. But those things is just to indicate that the highest leadership of the party, the highest leadership of the government, continue to think the best way possible to honor, respect, and never to forget those young Namibians, women, 
old people who died in Kasinga. blankets to choose from at such low prices so everyone can afford to get the blankets they need like polar fleece throws at a low low 49.99 or stormy blankets at a very low 54.99 pep best prices and more meet nelly she recently hired a domestic worker jacobina Neither of them knows their rights or responsibilities when it comes to wages, allowances, leave and working conditions. So, they have not considered whether their agreement complies with the Ministry of Labor, Industrial Relations and Employment Creations Wage Order, effective from April 1st, 2015. Luckily, Nelly won't have to get into trouble with the law because Nelly and Jacobina may SMS double six triple one. Visit www.mol.gov.na or contact the Ministry's regional offices for more information. Namibia values domestic workers. Up in this bulletin, National Union of Namibian Workers elects its office bearers for the next four years. Education Ministry reviewing secondary education curriculum to deal with shortcomings in teaching and learning. President Gengob disturbed by reports of officers collaborating with inmates unlawfully. And South Koreans hold May Day rallies to demand better working conditions. Good evening and welcome to the News at 8 with me, Tashia Kadila. Benofina Aces is your sign language interpreter for tonight. In our top story, the National Union of Namibian Workers, NUNW, has elected its office bearers for the next four years. Ismail Kasuto was elected president, Albert Liswaniso as vice, first vice president and Philip Muneguni as second vice president. Barbara van der Vestesen was re-elected as national treasurer, deputized by Ndeshia Fela Maputa, while Job Munyaro was elected secretary general, deputized by Kaim Severinus. The former acting president of the federation, Connie Pandeni, did not stand for election. The election took place during NUNW's sixth ordinary congress that ended at Svakop Moon in the early hours of this morning. The congress was divided in two groups on the position of Secretary General with one wanting former Deputy Minister of Defense Peter Ilonga, who is also a former Unionist, to contest for the position while the other group totally rejected it. This prolonged the proceedings of the Congress and officials of the Electoral Commission of Namibia, ECN, who presided over the election, wanted to pack their bags and go but were later convinced by the delegates to proceed with the process. The issue was resolved when delegates voted against Ilonga's nomination. Ilonga is an associate member of NUNW. ECN officials explained that associate members do not have voting rights and as such cannot be nominated to positions as per the constitution of the NUNW. No, the election process uh, was a bit cumbersome because it takes time, because there was a lot of arguments and all those things. After all, the workers has reached consensus and managed to, to elect a leadership st structure. Munyaro points out that the time of throwing stones are gone and that it is now the responsibility of workers to meaningfully contribute to the economic development of the country. Munyaro praised the delegates for their trust in the new leadership and assured them that it will always be there to fight for the rights of workers and the improvement of their living standards. Selenkuvim, NBC News, Svakopmund. 
Workers' Day, also known as May Day, was commemorated at the Kuisabon Stadium in Valfis Bay today, with President Hage Gengob calling on all companies to seize unfair labour practices. Dr Gengob stressed that workers must be treated with dignity and respect as their rights are crucial to Namibia's future. He further noted that mere salary increments alone cannot lead to the targeted economic growth rate of 7% and therefore employees must be allowed to share in the wealth generated by industries through shareholding. We will bring you the full report on the commemoration in tomorrow's bulletin. In other local news, we continue with more workers' news, and it's not a job that keeps one happy, but the passion for the job. Edward David is a living example of this. He is contended with his 12-year job as a guard at the Friedrich Ebert Stiftung in the capital. David's job is not only to open gates for the incoming and outgoing vehicles, but also assist people who visit the foundation where he works. As Namibia is joining the rest of the world to celebrate Workers' Day, NBC's Iwuse Mavuku spoke to David on what keeps him going and compiled this profile. For those who drive through the John Minot Street past the Frederick Abad Stiftung, we'll always see this guard who's always in a jovial mood come rain or sunshine. Edward David, who has been working for the Frederick Abad Stiftung for more than 10 years, says he's a happy man for the job choice he made. He says although challenges do come, his natural joy is something he inherited from his parents and keeps him going. Early morning, he sits outside reading his newspapers and greets every passerby. They can be happy with their work so that they will also stay, not changing their work. If you are not happy with your work, and also the work will be all tough. But if you are happy with your work, the work will be easy. He says every workplace has its challenges and politics. But such things do not let him down. Thus calling on everyone to have a positive attitude towards their work. He added that one does not need to be in an office to be happy, but how they do their job and allow themselves to grow to enjoy the job. David plans to study and obtain a qualification in road traffic profession. And he says life is expensive and not easy, but he is determined to change his situation one day. Save money, and also I make sure I have money for the petrol when I'm going to school after work. I have to go to study to mature politics. I think maybe next year, if they got wish, I will do it next year. He further called on Namibians to be serious with their jobs and achieve their dreams. If Edward David can keep smiling every day at his workplace, surely you can do it too and become productive in all that you do. Happy Workers' Day, Namibia. Iwusa Mavku, NBC News, Vendok. Education, Arts and Culture Ministry is currently reviewing the secondary education curriculum to deal with the shortcomings in quality teaching and learning outcomes. The curriculum review is aimed at focusing on interventions that will drastically improve academic performance, especially in key areas of grade 10 and 12. The minister, Katrina Hansehimarwa, says even though grade 12 students who qualify for entry to universities remain low, there has been an increase of 3,600 learners from 2013 to 2014, respectively. She was motivating the ministry's budget allocation in the National Assembly yesterday. With the implementation of free high school education expected during the 2016 academic year, the Education, Arts and Culture Ministry promises to prepare for the influx of learners and demand for space and resources. The ministry said the allocation of $3.5 billion for secondary education during the current financial year is expected to do just that. The allocation will ensure further curriculum revision, training for teachers, and the provision of learning support materials, textbooks, and other teaching materials. Thus calls for target training and capacity development of teachers, as well as the resources for the pre-vocational oriented subjects mounting to a total of 155 million needed for the full implementation of pre-vocational education. In addition to this, the demand for expansion of infrastructure remains a challenge at grade eight and 11. The ministry has been allocated just over $11 billion for the 2015-2016 financial year. 
$238 million are earmarked for pre-primary education for the construction of new classrooms, learning materials and teacher's salary, and the implementation of the newly revised curriculum. The revised curriculum is being implemented through a phase-in process. It has commenced with the pre-primary and junior primary levels in 2015 and continue of implementation at senior primary levels in 2016. Primary education is allocated $6.6 .6 billion for the rollout of the English language proficiency program while providing education to more than 449,000 learners at primary school level. Salmi Hangula, NBC News, Parliament. The Namibian head of state says reports of officers collaborating with inmates to escape and smuggle prohibited goods into the prisons is disturbing. President Hagegein Gob says every officer should understand the importance of their individual roles to public safety and should not indulge in behaviors that can compromise prison security. Dr. Gengob's message was delivered on his behalf by Presidential Affairs Minister Franz Kapofi at a ceremony that marked the commemoration of Correctional Services Day and passing out parade of new recruits at Lucius Mahoto Correctional Training College in Omaruru in the Orongo region on Wednesday. This year's Correctional Services Day was commemorated under the theme emphasizing public support in rehabilitation of offenders. The day which coincided with the pass-out parade saw more than 320 officers graduating after successfully completing their correctional service basic training. President Hage Gengob, whose message was delivered by the Minister of Presidential Affairs, Franz Kapofi, described the day as a reminder for officers that their duties are a calling that every official should be proud of. The focus in contemporary times is to ensure that those who enter the doors of correctional institutions serve their sentences and when they are released, they live as better citizens than they were before. They live as lower binding citizens who are able to contribute positively to the well-being of society. He said he is mindful of the challenges affecting the correctional officer's ability to deliver quality services such as poor housing and office accommodation, but assured them that government will spare no effort in its quest to address it to make the service efficient. Dr. Gengob has ordered the Commissioner General to put stringent measures in place to stop the practice and the culprits be brought to book. The Namibian Commissioner General, Rafael Hamuniela, described 2014 as having been a year of success as a result of collective efforts, hard work, professionalism and integrity among his officers. You're watching news here on your national broadcaster. Well, we'll be back with more after this short break, so stay with us. NBC Television News inserts and other current affairs programs are available on YouTube. Welcome back. Hundreds of people are starting to arrive at Okahanja's Red Flag Commando 1 ahead of the inauguration celebration of Herero Paramount Chief Vekui Rukoro tomorrow. Organizers say the festivities that expended over one million Namibia dollars are on track with four cattle already slaughtered. Elters from the different of Herero clans took their seats at Commando 1 ahead of Chief Rukoro's arrival here this evening. Riders on horseback, troops of young and old soldiers, and ordinary people from the different communities started filing the commando. The Secretary General of the Ovaherero Traditional Authority, Jonathan Kashimune, says all stops have been pulled and preparations are well on track and warn to those coming to the event tomorrow not to bring along any dangerous weapons. Here is what he said on preparations. Uh, we are more than 100% ready. Because at the meantime, we have got also three to four head of cattle that are ready on a standby. Others have been slaughtered 
And you see, as you know, for us, any festivity that is going on, if we eat a lot of meat, we don't even mind about these uh, salads and the other type of food. But once there is food, then the, the, once there is meat, there is food for us. And that is more than enough. So we are ready and we have got enough firewood that can provide the, the, the living to the people. The Namibian youth are reminded that they too have an obligation to promote and preserve their cultural heritage for generations to come. Therefore, it is important that youth attend the various cultural festivals in the country and learn from the elderly about the cultural norms and values of the country's diverse tribal groups. This was the message of Urban and Rural Development Minister Sophia Shaningwa in a speech read by Clara's governor, Lucia Basson, at the 4th High Kawa Traditional Authority Annual Festival at Guy Gainaha's settlement recently. The minister applauded the traditional authority for efforts aimed at promoting cultural heritage, but advised the leaders to go beyond their clan and tribal confines. Haras governor Lucia Basson, who spoke on behalf of Shaningwa, said that other tribes throughout the country should be invited to such events to showcase their tradition for the youth, to interact and learn about the country's diverse cultures. It is equally important that the transfer of indigenous knowledge, skills and craft, for instance, should have a cultural part in the program of cultural festivals. Traditional leaders were urged to safeguard the welfare of their communities by declaring war on poverty, among others. Hai Kawa Traditional Authority Chief Johannes Isaac said his council would promote culture to work closely with government in order to bring about meaningful development for his people. The situation of unemployed youth is a matter of grave concern. Seemingly, they lose hope once they drop out of class and do not venture any means to try again, since they hardly make grade 10 in some instances. While a minimum requirement to be employed these days is grade 10 or grade 12 in Chief Isaacs also used the platform to thank President Hage Gengop for declaring war on poverty in his inaugural speech and during his State of the Nation address. <laughs> Cold winter nights are just beginning and the fire incidences in the informal settlements have also started to leave families destitute. Emilia Heimbody, a resident of Vintux Havana informal settlement, has lost her home to fire. Heimbody went to collect something in the neighborhood, leaving a cooking pot on fire. The next moment, her shack was on fire. The fire destroyed all their belongings, including food items. For the past six days, they have been literally sleeping in the open. The family used some burnt corrugated iron sheets to reconstruct the shack, but that could only cover half of it. Neighbors donated some blankets and clothes, but to keep their stomachs filled is another problem. During our first visit, we only found the youngest son and grandson. He told us his mother went to the shopping complexes to beg for food. When we returned home later, her body just arrived with a white plastic bag. In it was maize meal flour. Her body could not get help from Councillor Abisa Hangula of the Samara Marshall constituency. She was reportedly told that there was nothing to assist her with. Her body showed us a letter signed by Councillor Hangula that she can use to beg for food donations at shopping complexes. <laughs> I was told to use this letter to go and seek for help from companies, churches, shopping complexes and markets. But where do you start, especially at shops? People were laughing at me and they were saying I was mad. All she got from her time begging from 10 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon was a plastic bag of maize meal from Life Change Charity Organization and nothing else. She said reconstructing her house will take months because she has no money to acquire building materials.
In international news, tens of thousands of South Korean workers held May Day rallies today, vowing to wage an all-out general strike if the government pushes through with planned labor reforms. AFP has this report. South Korean union leaders said more than 100,000 workers took part in two rallies in Seoul, while police put the total number of participants at 38,000. Federation of Korean Trade Union's head, Kim Dong-man, told a crowd at one of the rallies near parliament that they would crush any government attempts to suppress labor rights with an all-out general strike. President Park joon hees conservative administration is seeking to push through a reform plan that it argues would introduce flexibility to a rigid labor market by making it easier to hire and fire. Similar themes played out at a protest in Taipei, attended by several thousand people who demanded that Taiwan's government enact higher pay, shorter working hours, and a ban on temporary hiring. An organizer of the protest said they threw the smoke bombs to protest and ridiculed the government's chaotic policies and its inability to resolve issues such as unemployment and low pay, especially among young people. In Hong Kong, hundreds gathered to sing songs and dance in calling for better working conditions for both local and migrant workers. The plight of maids in Hong Kong was highlighted by the case of an Indonesian helper who was beaten and starved by her employer in a case that made world headlines. A migrant rights campaigner said despite the case, the Hong Kong government did not budge on foreign domestic workers' demands for more humane working conditions. Around 80,000 fruit pickers in northwest Mexico who work in slave-like conditions for a pittance are starting to stand up for their rights. AFP with this report once again. It's five in the morning. Like thousands of farm workers in the Mexican town of San Quintin, Paulino Jose starts a long day of labor. Though he has been working in the fields of Baja California State for over three decades, the 72-year-old fruit picker isn't retiring anytime soon. Like many of his peers, mostly indigenous men and women from the impoverished states of Oaxaca and Guerrero, he merely earns 150 pesos, a little more than $8 a day. Saving, he says, has never been an option. Every day, some 80,000 daily laborers in the region break their backs, sweating, swallowing dirt and carrying heavy boxes of fruit to earn their meager salary. Most have no contract or social security. To receive a basic income of about $8, tomato pickers must bring back at least 700 kilos a day. If they manage to pick three tons of tomatoes, their fee can go up to $16. But strawberry pickers sometimes earn as little as $2 a day. Some say the job will kill them before they can stop. Last March, for the first time in Mexico, thousands of farm workers went on strike to demand better working conditions. Though they obtain a salary raise of 15%, it's still not enough to cover their living expenses. Now, workers are turning to government after being stonewalled by the producers. Though they have started to raise their voices against what they call modern slavery, Mexico's farm workers have still a long road ahead before they can come out of misery. And on to sport news, South Africa retained their title at the Southern Regional All-Africa Ladies Challenge Golf Trophy competition, which ended at the Omea Golf Estate yesterday. More than 20 ladies from host Namibia, uh, Botswana, South Africa, Lesotho and Zimbabwe competed in the four-day event. The four-day competition saw ladies testing out their skills at the Omea course, but it was South Africa who emerged victorious on 439 points, with Zimbabwe in second on 469, while lost Namibia had to settle for third place with 482 points. Not only did the South Africans win the team event, but also the individual prize, which 19-year-old player Sarah Golay easily won with a total of 213 shots, three under par, over 54 holes. Namibian 2015 closed champion Carol Els retained a score of 233 and was Namibia's best performer with Nadia Schmidt in second place. 
Um, this tournament has been fantastic. It was very well run. Um, the course is in very good condition and it was just an amazing time. The event organizer and Namibian Ladies Golf Federation president Tia Grunewald was overwhelmed by the outcome of the event and had this to say. I think we all learned a lot from that and I think it, it has done a lot for ladies golf development in the country. 12-year-old Daniel Becker from Zimbabwe was the youngest player in this competition and applauded the seniors for having accorded her an opportunity to play alongside them. The golf challenge also served as preparation for the next All-Africa Challenge Trophy, AACT, in 2016, where all African golf-playing nations will be in action. Day two of the Kosasa Athletics Championship belonged to Zimbabwe as they scooped 17 gold, 21 silver and 14 bronze medals, totaling 52 medals with Namibia in second place with 45 medals, 15 gold, 13 silver and 17 bronze. Lesotho came in third with four gold, two silver and two bronze, raking in a total of eight medals. Let's take a look. And now for the latest weather update, Sikhlinde Somsis from Vintuk Med Office is on standby. Welcome and thank you for joining me on tonight's weather update. Still only fair weather clouds were visible earlier today over the eastern part of the country, but the southern half of the Namibian interior was under clear skies. On the synoptic map, although there's a weak trough over the western part of the interior, the major synoptic feature that is influencing our weather is this high pressure system over the eastern part of the sub-region. Therefore, we're having dry air on the surface, but the mid-levels are having a bit of moisture, therefore partly cloudy weather for the northern half of the country, while the south can expect a fine and hot weather for tomorrow. Along the coastline, we're expecting partly cloudy and mild weather with morning fog patches. Temperatures going along with that forecast. 10 and 20 for Wolfers Bay over the central coast. A high of 26 expected at Ludritz, while the northern part of the Namibian interior can expect temperatures in the lower 30s. Over the central high grounds, Khobabas can expect a maximum of 30. Now for the sea states expected, the wind direction maintaining a southerly, southeasterly orientation. Wind speeds going up to 20 knots over the northern coast, going up to 25 knots over the southern coast. Visibility will be poor due to fog patches for the entire coastline. The Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Namibian Annual Music Industry Awards 2015. Except for Lusaka, Lilongwe and Harare where it will be fine and hot. Cape Town can expect morning fog patches tomorrow, warming up to 20 degrees Celsius. Now for the international cities, fine and mild, two warm conditions expected for New York and Beijing, maximum temperatures of 17 and 24 expected there, while the remainder of our forecast cities can expect overcast to partly cloudy weather, a few showers expected at Moscow. I hope you've enjoyed your workers' day off and do enjoy the rest of your evening. Good night. Thank you, Sikhlinde, and likewise. Before we leave you, here's a recap of the top stories. National Union of Namibian Workers elects its office bearers for the next four years. Education Ministry reviewing secondary education curriculum to deal with shortcomings in teaching and learning. President Gain Gob disturbed by reports of officers collaborating with inmates unlawfully. And South Koreans hold May Day rallies to demand better working conditions. Well, with that, we also come to the end of tonight's newscast. We trust you had a well-rested workers' day. From me, Tashia Kadila and the rest of the crew, it's good night. In the past, getting everything from fixed and mobile communication meant more stress, more work, and a tricky balancing act. This has all changed. Introducing a seamless combination of the best of mobile and the best of fixed. 
combined in one easy to manage package. One account, one bill, one service provider. TN1, the power of two becomes one. Powered by Telecom Namibia. Sharing your world. Jetlab members, celebration of the stars is back. Save up to 350 on fashion and homeware. Exclusive to Jet Club members. Don't miss out. Four days only at all Jet and Jetmart stores. As Africa's biggest supermarket, you can trust ShopRite to always fight for lower prices for you. Like a jumbo pack of Pampers Active Baby Disposable Nappies for only $169.99 and a 250 gram tin of Rie Coffee Instant Coffee for just $24.99. ShopRite, lower prices you can trust. Make sure you keep the whole family wrapped up this winter. At Jet, we've got great deals on knitwear just for you. Get any two adult knits and save 20. With our great selection to choose from, you can update everyone's layering game, including the little ones. Get any two kids' knits and save 20. In the past, getting everything from fixed and mobile communication meant more stress, more work, and a tricky balancing act. This has all changed. Introducing a seamless combination of the best of mobile and the best of fixed. Combined in one easy to manage package. One account, one bill, one service provider. TN1, the power of two becomes one. Powered by Telecom Namibia. Sharing your world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Namibian Annual Music Industry Awards 2015 Blue Ladies Carpet Show. And gentlemen, live from Stock of Mode in Namibia. Namibia. Music Industry Awards 2015 Blue Carpet Show. Live from Stock of Mode in Namibia. Good evening, Namibia. Good evening, Africa. And good evening, world. Welcome to the Namibian Annual Music Awards Industry Night 2015. Now, my name is Rufi, and I will be your co-host for the Blue Carpet right here. Well, good evening, Namibia, from my side. That's right, Rufi. We are Blue Carpet 2015. And uh, for tonight, we're going to be talking to the who's who of the industry. We're going to be finding out, you know, some few interesting things from them for, for tonight right here on the carpet. And obviously, we're going to be finding out who are they wearing exactly. We want to find out all of that and more right here on the Blue Carpet, live from the Soccer Point Indoor Sports Center. Namibia, it's going to be exciting. Yes, indeed. Now we have an amazing person right next to me. Yep. Uh, good evening, Arafat. Good evening, ladies. You look beautiful. Thank you very and much. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Arafat, uh, you are an amazing man. Everybody recognizes you as the masterpiece of producers. You won Best Producer 2013. I have just one question for you right now in this moment. Please tell me, what have we got to look forward to tonight and for the following months to come this year? Well, what you have to expect is beautiful new sounds from Arafat. Definitely, I've been working hard all this time. Most of the people are probably frustrated because my phone has been off. That's because I was trying to invent and work on a new sound. Mm -hmm. And for tonight, I really have a very beautiful feeling. I don't know why. This is this God-given feeling within me that I'm going to be taking lots of awards. But yeah, I guess that's confidence and faith. Okay, confidence very much needed. Now, Arafat, we just want to find out, who are you wearing tonight? Looking very dashing, I must say. I'm wearing my fiancé, but what do you call fiancé, right? Fiancé, yeah, fiancé, yes. Yeah, fiancé, <laughs> yeah. Well, she's the one that actually picked all this outfit for me, and yeah, Elena and my son, Elion. Mm -hmm. That's basically about it, yeah. Okay, clearly mm. a lady with style, and um, you know, she, she, she did a good job. <laughs> like they say, behind every good-looking man, mm -hmm. As a beautiful woman. Oh, of course, I must say. Arafa, thank you so much for making thank time you. on coming onto our blue carpet. God bless. Have a great evening. I will, definitely. Okay, there you have it. That is the master producer himself, Arafat. And uh, like you said, great stuff coming through from him. And I see Mr. NWR entering the building. Looking very good this evening. 
I'm looking good. Yeah. I, I, I think you two ladies are looking way, way better than me. Ne? Yeah, very, very much. How are you doing tonight, Mufaro? No, I'm doing excellent. Mm -hmm. Very happy to be in South Copenhagen. Okay. Chilly weather outside. Yes. But I see people are dressed to kill. Definitely. Most Th certainly. That is the idea. Yeah, most certainly. But I must say, it feels uh -huh. good to be back with you uh -huh. this side five years on. Yeah. Hopefully to see you inside. <laughs> well, that is the yeah. idea. Uh, what I can say is, first of all, your name Mufaro. My name is Mufaro. I had to change my name. But you have been in this industry for the past five years. What are some of the changes that you have seen that have taken part over the past five years? Artists are getting more money than they used to. That's the one thing that I say has changed. Mm -hmm. And also they've professionalized. Mm -hmm. And you should also respect the fact that they're collaborating with a lot of international artists, which never used to take place a few years back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Mufaro, well, like we said, you're looking very dashing. Um, is it your wife that put this over together? <laughs> no, I, I need to give you all the credit. Yeah. She, she definitely gave me the thumbs up and I'm, I'm glad. I'm uh -huh. glad. Yeah, so I'm uh -huh. very happy. Wifey, thank you very much. Okay. Well, clearly, um, you know, um, you're going to be enjoying your evening. Thank you so much once again for joining us. Thank you very much. All right. Cool, cool. As always, uh, supporting that Namibian music right here at uh, Mofaro representing NWR. We still continue as, uh, with our blue corporate interviews as we get to find out, you know, the who's who's in the industry, who are they, you know, what are they looking forward to that's uh, for tonight. And right about now, we we, we we have these two lovely ladies joining us. Hi, ladies. Good evening. Thank you. Good we, evening. We good. Just, just introduce yourselves to the people watching. Well, uh, my name is Tuli Shichuete, mm -hmm. and I am a professional dancer Okay. Uh, from First Rain Dance Theatre. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm Hilary Shimi, uh -huh. and I'm also a professional dancer from Equip Dance Academy. Okay, fantastic. Ladies, I must say, ladies and gentlemen, as you're watching, these two ladies there, they can move. <laughs> they, they, they can move, all right? That's all I can say. Now, tell us, to be, uh, you know, uh, a dancer, yeah. all right, what's that one key thing that one should have? I mean, it's this thing that we all talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's this indefinable thing. It's the X factor. Yep. It's, you know, it's having technique, but it's also having the ability to perform and the ability to make somebody feel something when True. they're watching you dance. True. It's that little extra something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for really it's as simple as that. <laughs> I, I've seen you dance a bit earlier on re during rehearsals. Yeah. You, you look very passionate about what you do. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it the same feeling for you? Yeah, it huh? is, because what we do is we do it on a daily basis mm -hmm. and it somehow it gives us a message and that's how we express ourselves because mm -hmm. most of the number of young people don't know how to express themselves and that True. is what we do mm -hmm. that's a language for us mm -hmm. that's why we're bringing it out here for the numbers as well okay yeah clearly you guys had kept it simple in terms of how you look tonight yeah talk us through quickly about your look well mine is pretty simple yeah. it's pretty namibian yeah woolworths <laughs> mr price edgar's wow <laughs> there you go and your look um my sister had to rush to get me this beautiful dress. Mm -hmm. Maria, thank mm -hmm. you so much though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ladies, thank you so much. I'm wishing you all the best in your thank careers. Thank you. Have an amazing evening. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, as you know, you can stream live. That's uh, the Blue Carpet as well as tonight's main event. That's on www.mtcnama.mobi. And that's where you can catch us online. Otherwise, we are live right here on NBC One as we're coming to you live from Swakamut. And now where we have got another awesome guest, uh, all dressed in black, just for me, hopefully. Good evening. <laughs> Absolutely. How are you? <laughs> Good evening. Could you just, uh, introduce yourself that's, uh, to our viewers watching I'm at home? I'm Vili Fenter from mm -hmm. South Africa. I'm mm -hmm. a choreographer of the show. Okay, Vili. Some of the stuff. Uh, some of the stuff. Yeah. All right. Now, Vili being um, you know, a South African um, um, choreographer, uh, we've seen that a lot of dance moves coming from South Africa have been emulated across Africa. All right. Now, what have you done as your task to do some of the dance moves? here you know being related to Namibia as well as international on onlookers as well I think you guys in the growing pains of really uh, going into the international market completely mm -hmm. so for me dancing is the international language okay. and the dance language okay so for me there's nothing like it's a cultural thing like you have to move like this in Namibia like this in mm -hmm. in America mm -hmm. or in South Africa <laughs> so for me it's like it's international the way that I feel the music, so yeah. I put the stuff in. So there is a bit of an African, I think there's style from across the world that I put in the show now. True. So that's really something different. Mm -hmm. And I think because there's raw talent here, yep. the dancers are really hungry to do that. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of room mm -hmm. for them to really take the market. Fantastic. To be honest. All right, uh, Vili, like we said, all dressed in, uh, you know, black for tonight. Can you talk us through your look for tonight? Um, I like a simple look. And yeah. you say like if, like a lady usually in, a, um, in your wardrobe. Yeah. 
you have to have a little black number. <laughs> so this is my black number. Oh, that's your black number. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. Billy, thank you so much for joining us on the Blue Carpet. Thank you have so much. a great Enjoy evening. The evening. All thank right. You. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, there you have it, Namibia. Uh, like we said, you're going to be seeing very interesting moves, all right? We have 12 electrifying uh, performances that's for tonight at the industry evening. And, um, you know, like you said, Vili has played a part in, you know, putting together that is those dance moves, all right? So it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, uh, South African mix with a bit of international, a bit of everything um, tonight. That's right. Live right here at the Swakopmund Indoor Sports Centre. Now, of course, we've got another fabulous guest right here, all dapered and white. I'm talking about the one and only lady who is representing social media from MTC. Good evening. Hi, Rufi. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. For all those who do not know, her name is Jandra Leka. Did I say it correctly? It's Jandira, but it's oh, Jandira. Jandira. Now, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence tonight. And I know you're going to be giving us a few deets on how people can stay on the social networks and interacting. So what is this fantastic Moby website that I have people chatting about on Twitter? Um, firstly, I'm very excited to be at the Namas. Yay! Especially here. Um, you can actually stream, uh, watch the Namas live on the MTC Nama website. That is, you should follow www.mtcnama.mobi. www.mtcnama.mobi. In fact, I actually have it live with me so you can see that wherever you are, it being at KFC, chilling at a friend's, or just driving around and Please don't drive and be on your phone. But the <laughs> point is that you can have the site available on mm -hmm. your phone. Okay. That's fantastic stuff. Fantastic. Clearly embracing that is uh, technology. Now, Yandira, I must say, you look absolutely, you look like an angel. You know, you look fresh, <laughs> you look new. Talk us through your look for tonight. Well, Surhat, this is couture. I cannot <laughs> reveal my secrets, but yeah. Um, had this made and then had that, that, that. You know yeah. how we roll. Exactly. Cannot reveal my tricks. Okay. <laughs> I tried. All right. Jandira. Sure. Sure. Jandira, thank you so much for joining us yeah. and uh, all the best. That's for tonight. I enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you so much. There you have it. The lady responsible for you actually being able to watch this online. That's on www.mtcnama.mobi. That's where you can catch us live online. Um, so a big thank you. That is to Jandira for you. And also, like we say, you know, some trades we gotta reveal, all right? I gotta say thank you. That is to Damage Designs as by Nicolene for dressing me tonight, Rufi. And I have got the wonderful Usuta who's making me look all so slick right now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And also um, uh, Hannah for doing our makeup. That's for tonight. Now. Royalty has entered the building, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about Queen. She's an NBC producer and also a socialite. Queen, welcome to our blue carpet. This is absolutely amazing. It's nice to talk to you guys. You guys look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. <laughs> you all, you look, you look the part. And I've never had Rufi actually interviewing me, so this kind of looks kind of weird. You know, we always talk about Dave <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right, now Queen, let's let, let's speak hypothetically. All right, now let's say if you had to win the title of of uh, female artists of the year, right? Mm -hmm. Now, that comes with a hefty cash price attached to it, right? Mm -hmm. What would you do with the cash? Well, what I would do with the cash is I would probably record a, uh, I'll probably record a single mm -hmm. and uh, I would make sure that my single actually sells. Okay. I would never do an album because I just think uh, artists that do albums actually mm -hmm. waste a lot of time because they could record a single okay. and attach to a lot of companies actually that actually can make them richer and just you know become ambassadors of uh, proper companies that actually are out there and loud there and profit making companies. Mm -hmm. So I'll definitely do a single and of course a music video and include a lot of a lot of uh, for. Uh, for uh, you know, little babies and mm -hmm. uh, foster kids okay. and all of that stuff. Because I'm really, really about kids. Okay. So, yeah. All right, clearly, maybe that's a tip that somebody out there is watching and maybe can just steal your idea. You can. You're allowed to. <laughs> all right. Now, Queen, obviously, like I said, you look the part. I would love to actually flaunt my dress like this. Okay. Who are you wearing tonight? 
Well, uh, I must say that thank you so much, Don Dirkhat. Uh -huh. You guys know him. He's from Ventuk. He's a very famous designer. Okay. Uh, he rolls by the name uh, uh, Break of Don in Ventuk. And you can actually catch him on Facebook. Uh -huh. He's absolutely amazing. This was done over one night because I was not sure about what I was going to what wear. To wear yeah. I wanted to wear something really, really weird <laughs> and really, really elegant. Uh -huh. And so we had to pick colors over WhatsApp, over Facebook, and yeah. over Instagram, mm -hmm. and over Twitter. It's like, you know what? I want passion red. Mm -hmm. And I guess this is what he came up with. So if you don't mind, let me just flaunt it. Okay, well, Queen, thank you That's so great. much for joining us on our blue carpet. Looking beautiful. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. It's my pleasure. All right, there All you right. go. Like we said, that's Queen, NBC producer as well as a socialite. And, uh, you know, um, it's all about being passionate in terms of what you do. Tonight, we're celebrating the best of the best in the industry, producers, as well as, uh, you know, uh, radio presenters and all of this. The people that you yeah, that you don't see, all right? The people at the back, uh, we get to basically reward. So that's for tonight. It, as it is, the Namibian Annual Music Award Industry Night, live from Swak. Now, uh, the man has entered the building, ladies and gentlemen. It's absolutely good to have you on the blue carpet, Dalton. Welcome. Thank you. I'm well, good. How are you? Oh, we, we, we're good. Welcome uh, yeah, we, to... I'm good too. How are you? Uh, welcome to Swakop Munch. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, Dalton, it's good to have you on, um, you know, on the blue carpet, right. but more importantly, in the country, right? Yes. Um, you know, you've, you've, you've crossed the borders. You're doing absolutely great. We've seen you in KFC ads. We've seen you in Rhythm City. I've got a whole year of supply of KFC, so... Oh! I'm coming to your house after this, okay? okay. <laughs> All right, now, Dalton, tell us, you know, uh, what, uh, what what would you say um, attributes to your success or to how far you've come in terms of your acting? I guess it's um, hard work and never giving up. Mm -hmm. um, that's sort of uh, the two aspects that I that I live by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what advice would you give to somebody that's watching right now? Mm. Uh, on you know just you know just to start baby steps what 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 they what what must they do um, in terms of um, kicking off their career exactly um, first of all you gotta decide what you want to do true <laughs> and speak to the right people very true and listen mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just go for it mm -hmm. And work hard. Okay. Yeah, and never give up. All right. Clearly, yes. it's working for you, Dalton. Now, uh, who are you wearing tonight? She, I have no idea. Actually. I'm wearing some French guy, some, <laughs> some French jeans. shoes yeah. and things. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nothing right. in particular. Okay. Yeah. Dalton, thank you so much for taking thank, time to thank speak you to so us. Much. For thank, thank you so much. Cheers. Have a great evening. All right. There you go, Dalton, and representing, um, you know, proudly Namibian. We're definitely proud of his achievements, indeed. All right, there you go, Namibia. We still are going to continue that uh, with more right here. Remember the hashtag Nama2015. <laughs> well, Namibia, we have uh, another one right here on the carpet, and uh, he's looking as, uh, you know, we, we the part, yes. <laughs> Mr. McCoya, welcome to the blue carpet. Thank you so much for, 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 for joining us for tonight. Thanks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a rumor out there on the street, right? Yeah. That you're leaving the music industry and you're going to be concentrating on your production house, which is called TS Films. Yeah. Is this true? Yes or no? Well, and the, why? Rumor, the rumor is true. I'm mm -hmm. going to be releasing my last album next year. Mm -hmm. uh, I think all of the... Um, all of the knowledge that I got now throughout these years within the music industry, we're going to mm -hmm. focus that back into the music videos mm -hmm. for the artists to try and better up the music industry and obviously work a little bit with corporate Namibias in producing more corporate ads okay. and also manufacturing the best clothing line that Namibia has to offer. Okay. Well, clearly, uh, that would mean that you're wearing your own brand tonight, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know how we do it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Mr. Bakoya, uh, he's going to be presenting an award tonight and uh, uh, so we're going to see a couple of nice moves as well he's performing yeah all right so mr mccoya thank you so much see you later all right have a great evening okay like we said you will be catching him on stage tonight as well yeah, so uh you know, let's, let's get to see how that goes okay we get to continue with more right here it's nbc one live right here from the soccer Moon indoor sports center now namibia this lady has uh, you know he, she needs very little introduction okay but let's introduce her to you regardless all right she is yeah. one of uh, the designers who designs you've seen tonight all right this is one of her creations carrie welcome to the blue carpet thank you very much ladies thank you all right Thanks it's really good me. to have you here uh carrie now the the theme for this year is is glamour with a touch of African print. Yes. How did you manage to incorporate that in your designs? Oh, the, 
that, that was very easy. Actually, it was an honor to be chosen to be one of the, de the designers. designers yeah. yes. uh -huh. um, and it, it just like depends on the person, speaker, mm -hmm. and their skin comp have to work with, yeah. but it was the easiest, like thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Okay. Now, obviously, you 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 talked about, um, like you said, it was easy. Uh, that would mean that you're wearing your own creation, right? Oh yes, yes. yes I'm definitely am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, I just have to jump in right here and say thank you so much for being one of the designers chosen. But could you just tell uh, people what brought about this look? Because I am officially wearing Usuta, so maybe you could just give us one quick word to describe this look you put together elegance <laughs> elegance you had it there on the numbers now keep interacting on the social network pages we are there on twitter facebook and instagram mm -hmm. there you have it curry thank you so much for joining us on the blue carpet and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening okay there you go, Namibia. We are slowly but surely moving closer, that is, to the main show for tonight. Like we said, it's the Namibian Annual Music Awards Industry Night. We have 17 awards that will be given tonight, 12 electrifying performances. Um, so it's going to be an epic evening. All right, now, talking about happiness, you catch him every single morning that's on your radio, so that's on Fresh FM. Now I have one of the... Oh, <laughs> what are you doing from you? <laughs> he would do Selfies. something like that. <laughs> I am the queen of selfies and we have been graced by the king of selfies, the bay god of Swathop at the moment. Apparently I saw that on hashtag. Shout out to Cheese, how you doing? I'm good, how you doing girl, how you doing? Ah, there we go. There we go, all right. <laughs> okay, cool, now that we're done with all that, Cheese, you've been in the industry and I know this year you've been nominated for Entertainment DJ of the Year. How are you feeling about that? Uh, nine years, first no, first time. It's crazy. Uh, I'm really, really flattered. I didn't expect to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, I expected to be in the crowd, but yeah, I'm here as a nominee, so I'm good. Stop calling me. Somebody's calling me. Okay. <laughs> now, I know that you actually threw a party for everybody to celebrate you. Uh, how come we never got the invite? Um, actually, no, it was my birthday party, and uh, I didn't want to like force people to vote for me. So yeah, I was just having fun, and yeah, those that voted... Yeah. All right, Cheese, thank you very much for right. joining us. All the best for tonight. Okay. <laughs> all right, there you go. You can catch him on your radio. Now, in Namibia, it is really all about making sure that uh, we get to uh, bring you exactly what uh, you asked for, bringing you closer to your stars, all right? Now, talking about another star who absolutely, as always, looks flawless when he puts his look together. As you saw in, his, in, in the newspaper, right, you know, his look was, you know, dubbed as best dressed. Corey, representing Advantage Y and R, welcome to the Blue Carpet. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for having me. It's absolutely amazing. I'm excited. Yeah. I can't wait for the show to yeah. start. Yeah. And allow me to compliment you. You look absolutely stunning. Well done, ladies. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so Corey. much. Thank you so much. Now, Corey, you are a man with many talents, but if we could get one tip of making a success factor of, of the awards, would you just give us one tip that would rise to your occasion? Well, one tip, um, ladies, I need to be very honest with you. It's definitely, if a, bar, if a guy goes out there, mm -hmm. buys himself a suit, mm -hmm. gentlemen, please make sure that it is a nice Italian cut suit, okay? Okay. Ladies, mm -hmm. if you go out there, ask some advice and ask them, please help me with makeup. Mm -hmm. Does it go with my skin? And come on, it's Swakopmund. Have fun and go the extra mile. Yes, definitely, <laughs> definitely. All right. Now, Corey, quickly, just talk to us through, um, you know, your look that you've put together. That's for the, for tonight. Uh -huh. All right. Well, um, William, mm -hmm. tonight I'm dressed um, like I've mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. Italian suit. Mm -hmm. um, this is Daniel Hector mm -hmm. from shoe, mm -hmm. socks. <laughs> underwear if I may uh -huh. and the whole suit threw it out so definitely yeah. uh -huh. it's Daniel Hector tonight okay Corey thank you so much thank you ladies have a wonderful evening all right enjoy enjoy thank the you. evening <laughs> all right there you have it that's uh, Corey for you looking the part it is after all the Namibian annual music awards industry night all right so it only comes once a year so you really have to look the part okay don't you agree Rufi I have to say so now we've got another beautiful bird who just stepped on the carpet she's <laughs> looking absolutely flaming <laughs> good evening good evening how are you ladies we are on fire because of your dress. You are DJ Polar from Fresh FM. Yes, I am. Do you want a twist? Yeah. A little a mini twist? Yeah, turn around, turn around. So how are you guys? We're good, Paula. Welcome to the Blue Coffers. Thank you. All right, now, you've, you've been um, on radio for a while now. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the one thing that has impressed you about the Mabid music? Um, the fact that we keep it real. Mm -hmm. 
all the time, you know. We try and keep that that that, that Namibian culture in our music, so that, that's what I love about Namibian music. All right, Paula, who are you wearing tonight? I'm wearing Urban Glam Designs mm. by Kathy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You ladies look lovely as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> have a great evening. You too. Okay, <laughs> Namibia, there you have it. That's uh, Paula from Fresh Fem, and uh, we get to, you know, give you all of you know the industry makers like we said we're bringing you that's the best of the best right here on the blue carpet live from swak and now we have a little princess who's on her way mm -hmm. and i have to say she looks too cute it's my heart hello honey <laughs> how are you i'm great i'm amazing this is what <laughs> happens when uh, goodness happens in the world i think we just need to bottle her up and sell her as a product <laughs> <laughs> so what's your name jesse Hi, Jesse. I had to come down to your level, you know, because we improvised just like that. So who is your My dad. Your dad. Oh, who's your dad? Sean Adia. He's, he's nominated for the NAMA Awards. Ah. Oh, that is super, super <laughs> cute. I absolutely love your dress that you chose. Did you get it for yourself? Yes. Ooh, and the color? Who chose it? Well, I chose the color because I thought it would match the NAMA Awards. <laughs> there you heard it, our own Namibian designer. How old are you before we go? Eight. At eight. Wow. Our first Namibian designer at eight years <laughs> old. Where do you have any gorgeous questions for this lovely princess of no, ours? Thank you so much for joining us on the blue carpet and have a great evening. Thank you. All right. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. All right. There you have it, Namibia. Um, clearly, you know, she's here to be inspired by all the, you know, musicians that are there. Um, so there you have it, Namibia. We have exactly six minutes to the live show. Remember, it is the Namibian Annual Music Awards Industry Night. We are celebrating that is the industry that has been working tirelessly to entertain you all right be it you know um on television and radio writing stories and entertaining you um all year through all right so right now we um, have another lovely lady joining us on the blue carpet <laughs> hazel good, good evening. evening and welcome good evening, you look beautiful thank you <laughs> just have to say who can it you know who are you wearing tonight oh my goodness this hazel always does the diy so uh, i have dressed myself uh -huh. i hope i'm stylish enough okay <laughs> so you did you did all of that by yeah. yourself this is well this this i bought okay and then this you I just cut added just a little bizarre. DIY, yes, <laughs> DIY. There you go. Now, Hazel, you know, obviously, you know, you've done your 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 acting and yeah. all of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it, um, how easy is it to break into this industry, the acting industry in Namibia? Wow, uh, Namibia has a lot of potential. It has a lot of room. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say it's going to be easy mm -hmm. because not everybody can be doing that. Mm -hmm. But it is definitely possible for anyone that has the go-getting um, feel about themselves. If okay. they want to go get it, okay. go get it. Okay. Be that star. All right, there you have it. Go and get it. Hazel, thank you so much for joining us thank on the you, call. Thank you, ladies. Have a great evening. All right, there you go. Yeah. Go get it. Don't forget the official hashtag is Nama2015. Of course, we are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Our Twitter handle is at Namibian Awards and Facebook. Just simply search for Namibian Annual Awards. The mm -hmm. same with Instagram. True. Yes. All right. We're joined by uh, a very stylish uh, gentleman right now. Please introduce yourself to our viewers watching at home. Well, um, I'm Dezel Omnenenu. Uh -huh. I'm from Namibia. I'm, I mean, I'm from Okalongo. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Now, tell us, uh, the Namibian Annual Music Awards is celebrating five years um, this year. All yeah. right. Uh, now, uh, uh, what do you think about the whole initiative, the award show um, and all of that? What, what do you think about it? Well, it's okay. Especially that uh, this year, everything, I mean, a lot of upcoming artists are dominating, yeah. mm -hmm. nominees, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's very nice. Okay. Yeah, you enjoy. are rocking the African print very well tonight, okay? Who dress you? I'm um, dressed by Ingo Shanyenge. Is <laughs> my designer is in Vinduk. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, well, Ingo, a job well done. Thank you so much for joining us on the Blue Carpet. Thank
thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now that's quite interesting because our theme tonight is glam with a touch of African print. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So clearly he got uh, that is uh, you know uh, so to say the invite and uh, he got it to the T. All right. So good on him. Well, we move on that side to another uh, man who's clearly not a stranger to the stage. Okay. Good evening. <laughs> yeah, good evening. Good evening, to everybody at home. All right. Welcome yeah. to the blue carpet. Uh, yeah, it's you. live from Swaka Um wow. How are you feeling tonight? Man, um, I feel good to mm -hmm. be live on the national television. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm good. Yeah? <laughs> I feel good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what are you looking forward to tonight? Man, um, I'm looking forward to, to go pick up my award. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to see the great uh, performances by other artists. By other artists. Yeah. Okay, fantastic stuff. Any okay. new things that we can expect from you? Mm, well, I have an album out, okay. so it's still fresh. Mm -hmm. So something that you expect will be next, I mean, in the middle of the year. In the middle of the year. year. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Good. All the best with that. Have a great evening. Thanks a lot. Good evening. Okay, there you go, Namibia. We are definitely uh, counting down, that is, uh, to the main show as your main host. Oh, Paul yes, and are. Helena will be joining you that's uh, pretty soon, and they're going to be giving you an exciting show that's uh, for this evening. Well, we've got uh, wow. ladies in the house. A trio, ladies and gentlemen, the finest three birds that have graced our blue carpet. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. Hey. <laughs> now, you guys are from the Fashion Fiend crew. How has the night been going so far? So far, so good. Mm -hmm. A little stressful, but good, yeah. <laughs> Is anyone presenting an award tonight? Yes, we are actually. Two of us are. Two of us are. You guys are oh, okay. I cannot wait to see you guys. What are you guys most excited for about tonight? I think the performances. I can't wait to see that. Okay, so I need to just really do this real quick. I need you to say who you're wearing, and we can swiftly move on quick. <laughs> well, I'm dressed by the amazing Leia, of course. This really cute tool skirt. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dressed by the one and only Leia Musica, and I'm definitely loving my outfit. I cannot complain. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of wearing a mixed match of everything, but representing JJ's. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you so much for gracing the NBC screens with your fashion show, and hopefully people will tune in uh, real quick. Now, do enjoy yourselves for the rest of the evening, and we'll take selfies later on, yeah? Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Okay, there you have it. All right, beautiful ladies here gracing that is our blue carpet. It is the Namibian Annual Music Awards Industry Night, and we are Blue Carpet 2015. And uh, we still continue because we have, you know, this little time left to go cross over that uh, to the main stage, like we said, promising you great entertainment. Do keep in mind that tomorrow evening we'll be back right here, and uh, Milton and Pumbili will be um, coming live, that is, for the blue carpet with the main show, where we're going to be finding out who'll be, be uh, best male artists, female artists and all of that so uh, make sure that uh, you get to join in live on NBC One as well okay so let's get to uh, you know uh, make sure uh, that uh, we get to give you all that you need to know. Now yes. coming through is another awesome interview mm -hmm. and uh, okay we're just gonna do this real quick don't forget like she said tune in and we're about to wrap up because the show is about to start in live don't forget www. Uh, <laughs> mtcnama.movi and yep. we'll check you guys out on the social network pages and yeah keep safe namibia and all right from our side right here in the blue on the blue carpet namibia we're crossing over that's to the main stage good night good night ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching the namibian annual music industry awards 2015 blue carpet show live from swakabund namibia
ayo ayo Bukhtar message mat mai bana kanaina Ayo 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 Bukhtar message mat mai bana kanaina Aina 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 And gentlemen, welcome to the Namibian Annual Music Industry Awards 2015, live from Swakopmund, Namibia. Yeah. 
waya 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 katongwa oni beko maru deve oye oni kinite ko noni kinite ko fire fire oni beko mangumbi oye noni kinite ko kuma pe ange Now this is an Arafat music production. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's Makurungaga in the building, all the way from thank Uton, you. Garangi. Wow, wow, wow. That is how you get a show started, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing performances by Arafat featuring Esman, and of course, DJ Globe featuring DJ Zile. Ladies and gentlemen, I must say, you're all looking absolutely exquisite tonight on this rather cold Friday evening. <laughs> And then, of course, I'd also like to thank all the ladies. I think all the ladies look absolutely stunning tonight. As a matter of fact, I think all the ladies... ...round of applause for looking amazing tonight. And then I will also like all the gentlemen to give the ladies a round of applause, please. Oh, come on. No. Gentlemen, that round of applause was for yourself, I'm just saying. All right, so 364 days have passed since we last hosted the Namibian Annual Music Awards in this very same building. And tonight, we do it all over again, but this time in different style and different fashion. You might be asking, how so? Well, it's a different array of audience, a different array of artists, and not forgetting us, your new host for the Namibian Annual Music Awards Industry Night 2015. 
I go by the name Paul and I'm styled by the one and only Luke's the vintage guru who brought somebody from Joburg to also help him out. Thank you so much, Luke. <laughs> and I must say, I'm joined by my ever so lovely co-host, Miss Helena Ngaifiwa. Hello. Thank you so much. Now, I have a list of people to thank. Mm. Of course, I will have to start with the Virgin Hair Boutique, my Brazilian. Of course, yes. <laughs> and then I'll have to thank Olga for styling me, Hannah Nangula for the makeup, and not forgetting Melissa Portrait for the beautiful dress. They've done a fantastic job. Now tonight, the must not only celebrate the talent and recognize the hard work of various artists, but we're also patting ourselves on the shoulder. That is, of course, for five magnificent ever since the partnership between MTC and NBC was realized. Oh yes, now the NAMA Friday night was started last year, and this is a way for corporates and industry leaders alike to network, but not only that, to sit back and relax for once a year, to enjoy the fruits of what they've worked so much for and invested so much in, and that they deserve a round of applause. Namibia now tonight we will be awarding 17 categories. We'll be having 12 electrifying performances. This is the Namibian Annual Music Awards Industry Night 2015. Stay glued to your seat. Oh yes, the next award is not so far off. It's actually our first for the evening. Help me welcome onto stage from the Namibian Wildlife Resort, Mufaro and Esther. Namibia, I must say it feels good to be in Swakopmund. Don't you feel good to be here? Now, gospel music seems to have become the new trend of hip hop and soul. By this, I mean it has evolved so much so that more and more musicians are set to do gospel music. And to think that the gospel genre has been part of the Namibia Awards ever since its inception, and now the nominees are. The nominees for Best Gospel are Dina, Oma Tulukila Onjila, featuring Tequila and Vilo. Elise, Hold On. Manda Gabriel, Alpha na Omega. VM, My Ways. Botisela. Kapuna featuring Tequila. Best Gospel is sponsored by Namibia Wildlife Resorts. Tough choice. Very, very <laughs> tough choice, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the Best Gospel winner for 2015 goes to a man that's been in the industry for over five, six, seven, a lot of years. None other than Dina. Thank you very much, man. I'm very much humbled and I would like to begin by giving thanks to the giver of all gifts. We are here tonight celebrating the gifts of many artists, but we should not forget the one that have given the gifts, the Lord Jesus himself. And I'm really, really happy that uh, for many, so, so, so many years uh, this award is remaining in my house and uh, it's because of people like you that believed in the music that we do. And I'm not better than the rest. I'm just probably the most well-known one. I believe that somebody out there in the village is better than me, he's just not known yet. So this one goes to the Lord himself and to all my fans that have believed me for the past 20 years. MTC NBC, my family watching me, I love you all of you guys. Thank you very much. It's a cappella. And who best to award this than entertainment journalists Gordon and Ronell? Dumela. 
Congress Namibia. Now, the iconic Boys to Men is one of the oldest yet most recognizable groups who became famous when they started with a cappella in the early 90s. Nonetheless, when doing this type of music, it's imperative that vocals are on point. Should there be any instrumentals, they play the second fiddle. The Golden Voice is on fire tonight, huh? The nominees for Best A Cappella are Ovananjeda Choir, Jesus Hina Kumuesa. Brothers in Christ, I Surrender. Zita Augusto, Jesus is the world to me. Best A Cappella is sponsored by Directorate of Arts. And the winner is? Well, the winner is? of a Nanjeda choir, Jesus Hanukumeza. Wow! I got... <laughs> I can't, I can't even talk now. I, really, I can't believe it. I really, for me, it's, it was even the first time uh, to this nominees. Uh, the first things I just, I just want to say thanks to God that gave us this talent. Oh, I have no way to say. I, I don't know why, but I, I don't know even what to say anyway. But I'll, I'll say thanks to God anyway. Thank you. Thank you. From the Namibian Statistics Agency, Nelson Ashipala and the very flamboyant and energetic soul Queen Avula from the NBC presents Best Afrikaans. Good evening, Namibia. Nelson, you look absolutely amazing in your color of communication through the voice, I must say. Thank you so much, Queen. You look passionately red, too. All right, we are awarding the best Afrikaans. Now, you know that uh, Afrikaans, me mother tal, was one of the lines that we knew before, at least for those that still had it in school uh, from the 70s, 80s, as well as the 90s. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Afrikaans has made a completely U turn. It has turned 360 degrees. The way we talk, the way we listen, the air dialect has changed. Ladies and gentlemen, so has the music. So for now, let's look at the nominees for Best Africans. The nominees for Best Africans are Arafat, Bukta Macy, featuring S-Man, Elise, Fahiva and Fahir. MC Ray met Neck featuring A Block Kazel. Michael Carolina. Tabakans Macy. Dink Say Head Day. Best Africans is sponsored by Namibia Statistics Agency. So now you have the privilege to announce the best Afrikaans winner for 2015. Sure, here we go. A technology boy. <laughs> oh, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Arafat with Jesu Hinakumwesa. And there he comes, as confident as usual. Where's my brother? He was supposed to be interpreting me. Uh, uh, yo, this is beautiful. You know, there's so many people, you don't know what to say. Uh, so many beautiful eyes looking at me. Um. Well, I'm not going First of all, we will not be taking this shine. 
What we decided is that we would love to dedicate this award to everybody that has suffered at the hand of xenophobia. Ik wil zeggen dat ze boekter dit voor de mensen van de zuiden, van de noorden, van de westen, omdat dat weer gaat doen. And I'm calling to every single Namibian out there to be the light of Africa and Sadek. And I'm calling for that if you know there's a foreigner around you uh, at your homes, go give them a hug. Let's show an example to the world and Africa that Namibia is a place of love and peace and Jesus' nation. One, one Namibia, one nation, peace. That's what it is. Shop. The nominees for the song of the year are Beast Lately DJ Globe na DJ Zile Wire Wire KP Illust Jazz and Jealousy featuring Enkai and Monique English Paradox Chasing featuring Ali That Dude X Bunch Ones Back to Cassidy The song of the year is sponsored by Huawei Technologies. Cell phones and tablets are arguably our most cherished possessions, always with us wherever we go. That's why we at Namibia Wildlife Resorts decided to create a mobile app just for you. The app showcases all our beautiful resorts and we believe you are going to love it. Aside from getting directions to our resorts, you can even make your booking when you're away from your laptop or desktop computer and get timely notifications about our specials and other events. Lastly, share what you like about us right from inside the app. Download it now for free for your iOS or Android device and join the fun. Namibia Wildlife Resorts, conserving Namibia's natural heritage, today, tomorrow, and forever. Celebrating 25 years of independence, MTC presents a gospel concert with Rebecca Malope, featuring Namibian gospel artists on Sunday the 31st of May 2015 at the Independent Stadium Olympia. General tickets 50 Namibian dollars, VIP 150 Namibian dollars. Tickets available at CompuTicket, gates open at 12 p.m. Proudly brought to you by MTC. Make the connection.
display of what Namibian talent has to offer. Oh yes, and I must say Namibian talent grows bigger and better every year as the music gets better. And just like MTC and NBC raise the bar higher with the NAMA Awards every single year. Give Dixon another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Now Dixon is one of those artists that ever since he went solo, his music style still remains something to be reckoned with. Indeed, Helena. Now one thing is a given when it comes to the NAMAs is that without the generous contributions of all the businesses and corporates, an event of this magnitude would not be something we'll be dreaming about. So tonight, we take our hats off to all our sponsors and we say thank you for everything that you do. Thank you so much to all our sponsors. Now moving swiftly along, we still have 14 categories to award tonight. Now Paul. The prize money is not the only thing that has hearts beating tonight. The mere acclaim of walking away as a winner and the rewarding sensation after so much effort. Oh yes indeed, Helena. Now, on stage next are the next two people to give away the award. Now, one of them is Fishman and the other one actually designed Helena's outfit, one of them for the night. She goes by the name Kerry but is also known as Osuta. And they are here to tell us who walks away as a reggae master tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Fishman and Kerry. It's so amazing how old and far reggae music dates back, yet it is kept alive by the very one, those that take a little dip of the, the category. When we think of reggae music, we tend to think of Bob Marley or even closer to home, Rashiyama. Now let's see who the next big has, um, reggae artist be for 2015. The nominees for Best Reggae are Blazer Eye, Ken Hold, Mawela Brigade, Okanakawa, Slosh, Stop Passion Killing, featuring Lando B and Opera, Spanish Rasta Man, Stardust, Calling on You. Best Reggae is sponsored by Directorate of Arts. And the winner is... Stardust, calling on you.
Wow. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. That is so all much. I can say. Wow. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, We'd like to thank each and every one of you guys who has been behind us uh, since day one. Thank you, Arafat. Thank you for producing this beautiful, beautiful song. Uh, we want to say thank you to our manager, to um, Antonio. We want to thank everyone, everybody who has supported us and gotten us this far. Thank you so much. <laughs> From the Ministry of Education, Arts and Arts, Greta Gasper, joined by music promoter Charlie One Million. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this contemporary tradition beat genre known as Shambo, is one that has seen the likes of Tunaki take it year on year. There is no doubt why she is renamed the Queen of uh, Shambo. Good evening. However, here at Banamas, we encourage new and innovative approaches and entries into all categories. Could the Shambo Queen become king tonight? Let's take a look at the nominees. The nominees for Best Shambo are Dina, Abraham Okanganja Isaac, featuring Tunaki and Tequila, Lonette Owambo, Neslo, Omomati Woswa, Nono, Ndimupemo, Omnene Nu Dazo, Ohole Yange, Yahe Puluka. Best Shambo is sponsored by Directorate of Arts. Let's take a preview at this year's nominees. The nominees for Best Kizomba are Atushe Fikama featuring Avozina, Blossom Egululanje. Dixon Valentina Kudurista We Miss You Mama Michael Sadu Tridu There's nothing more is sponsored by Castle Light However this year we give it to the different Blossoms. It's always been And it will always be
However, it seems that Blossom is not here, so we would accept this award on her behalf. Put your hands together for Beauty Queen, Miss Teen 2014, Renee Lechron, and Marketing Officer at Dynamic Mobile Solutions, Ashipa, presenting Best Rock Gentlemen, it's amazing how rock music has grown a value of proximity in Africa in the last two decades. Tonight we reward yet another artist or group for their endless and tiring practices in the backyard garage with perfectly rounded performances and music mastering. And the nominees are... The nominees for Best Rock Alternative are Lisa Ellis, Just Shore, Sean Nodia, Highway Man, The Dot Coms, The Night, Best Rock Alternative is sponsored by Directorate of Arts. letter C and that C is for change let's be the change in our society I know I'm committed to be the change thank you to my husband our kids my family my brothers my sisters my producer my mentor and everybody who shows up not only for their own lives but for the lives of others and now we have seven categories down and ten more to go. Hosh, the night is still young and Mr. Makoya is backstage preparing for his next performances. So ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mr. Makoya. Celebrate my life, it comes you with no confusion. You get any Baba and Baba, we not pay the vision. In many times, it always had the coordination. The Wamba Kuti, I don't understand the statement. The Wamba Kuti, oh, can I get a translator? The Wamba Kuti, oh, while I'm making that paper. You get any Baba and Baba, we not pay the vision. My life was never easy, but I never went back. Mamas always tell me never give up, just like that. Always be a man and say true. Never lose focus and have the vision for the prize. Going to the top. You knock on my tongue, cause that just taught me just a lie. I had no mula in my pockets when I was at school. I was a little shy, and they said I wasn't cool. I took to my time, 
man, cause I know I ain't no fool. I made them my bras, and at the end I had a crew. I made the drum piece, and then say I was free. We get an Iba Banji Baba, we not fed a vision. Some would give us a lot to find a celebration. Appreciating, I go to find a celebration. Some would give us a lot to find a celebration. Somebody, somebody, somebody.
Gone are the days when, pe when artists are expected only to take out from society. Today they're actually expected to give back to society. Today we celebrate or we kind of honor that artist was able to plow back into our society. Many have said that the feeling of being a socially responsible butterfly is as easy or even better than the success of an album. Let's have a look. The most socially responsible artist of the year is sponsored by First National Bank. And the winner is Dinaf. Yeah, thank you very much. I was just backstage. We're getting ready for the stage. Once again, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the giver of all gifts. And uh, uh, tonight, I would like to honor somebody who has really made me the man I'm supposed to be. After all the things I went through in life, I met this woman and she became the most beautiful inspiration I've ever seen. My wife. My beautiful son is watching me right now from the hotel, Seaside Hotel. I love you, Prince. And um, I'd like to thank all my young people that are watching me from home. Yeah, thank you. I also want to thank my friends from Zambia. I invited two friends from Lusaka, that's Mark B3 and uh, Mulenga. Thank you very much. This is for you, most social responsibility artist, giving back to the community. Thank you very much. Nescam CEO John Max and DJ Polar from the Fresh FM station here to represent for the first time the award for best song with a message. Good evening, Swakamun. Good evening, Namibia. First for the numbers, tonight we are going to award the best songwriter with a message. All right, so forget the candy-coated effects, the beautiful girls, and the shimmering cars. Let's look beyond all that. Here are the nominees. The nominees for best song with a message are Big Ben, Africa Unite. The nominees for best song with a message are Ali Ben, Turn Africa the Unite other against Baby Dumpy. Mawela Brigade turn like the other chain featuring tequila. Mawela Brigade and I feel your from pain Jesus featuring, featuring Michelle. And New Generation Sold World from Jesus featuring, featuring Michelle. The best song with the message is called by Nasca featuring Liu D. The best song with the message is sponsored by Nasca. Nominees is and the winner is Ben. Somebody said, finally, who's there? <laughs> well, I'm very happy to actually win an award for a song that I did not expecting an award. The only award I wanted for this song was for some change. And I still don't see it. And so instead of thanking you, I want to blame you for not doing enough. To talk to your fellow people, to teach your kids, your friends, to just have some respect for other humans. Let's stop the violence, please. And thank you very much to MTC, NBC, and all my fans. I love this.
volumes in terms of music played on radio. Best Entertainment DJ of the Year presented by boxing trainer Ims Moses and sport journalist Chien Jimmy. Good evening Namibia. Good evening Namibia. Without the men and women behind the microphone, music would not be heard at the rate at which it is, meaning artists will probably not be as famous as they are. Similarly, we should award those who really stand behind the microphones and make all the songs known to everybody, and the DJs, and we need to congratulate them for their hard work. So let's see who's competing for this award. The nominees for Entertainment DJ of the Year are DJ Cheese. The nominees for Entertainment DJ of the Year are DJ, DJ Cheese. DJ Maldini. No more the Kafas. No the Prince. The Entertainment sure. DJ of the Year is sponsored by Coca-Cola. The Entertainment DJ of the Year is sponsored by Coca-Cola. And the winner is Gospel Kaffa. I want to thank Karas Rechen for this award and all my friends who is watching me at home. Thank you very much. The nominees for the Song of the Year are Beast Lately, the nominees for the Song of the Year are DJ Cross and DJ Z lately. Wire Wire. Take DJ Cross and DJ Z and Jealousy. Wire Wire. And Kai and Nick English. Paradox. Killers, Chasing. Jazz and Jealousy. Andrew and Kai and Monique English. Paradox. Chasing. Featuring Ali that dude. The song of the is back by to Cassie. Technology. The song of the year is sponsored by Huawei Technologies. The Namibian Society of Composers and Authors of Music is a collective organization which administers the rights of those creative artworks in a combination with music. The Namibian Society of Composers and Authors of Music is a collective organization which administers the rights of those creative artworks in a combination with as music. Hosting with that in 1994, its main objective is to to register members with to collect the royalties and distribute its main objective. And extra piracy. After the song has been mixed and mastered for airplay, the artist therefore needs to go to the nearest NASCAM office and After fill the song in the has forms been mixed and mastered for airplay, so the artist therefore needs to go so to the nearest NASCAM office protected. and fill in the forms needed to register his or creative artwork so his work can be protected. Use the creative work of the country is the right to copy. Copyright protect permission originality. Please make use of the original work of art. To all our members, we appreciate what you have done. It is so fun and we encourage you to continue. 
creating to all the message to the energies this is very exciting and in promotion with the contact of industry and good message to the nations. This is very great. Coca-Cola is coming to your hometown with an awesome soccer moon or amazing vet hook. Coke will be right there for you to share. Find your hometown Coca-Cola Big Buddy today and share a Coke with Namibia. Coca-Cola. Open Happy Day today and share a Coke with Namibia. Coca-Cola. Open Happiness.
beautiful performance by Lonette with our Wambo, highlighting the Awambo people and the place we come from. Oh yes. And I must say, the excitement just keeps rising in this venue as the patience is wearing thin. And some people's nerves just can't hold them anymore, eh? <laughs> so let's move on. Let's move along. The next is of most disciplined artist of the year. Let's give it up for a very disciplined and determined soul, Helena Motseng and Leah and Tracy from Fashion Fame. You've been so good to me. Most people say that the fine line between success and failure is discipline. Do you agree? I certainly agree. I think that moment when discipline meets talent, that's really the moment when a musician is born. So will we just look at who are the nominees for this discipline? The nominees for Most Disciplined Artist of the Year are Fishman The nominees for Most Disciplined Artist of the Year are Lofi Little Eddie Mr. Eddie Para Mr. Reed The most disciplined Paradox. artist of the year is sponsored by NDTC. The most disciplined artist of the year is sponsored by NDTC. The most disciplined artist of the year is Paradox. This is, this is surreal, um, especially because discipline is something that our generation really struggles with and standing here doesn't mean that Tofia and I are perfect, it just means that we learn from our previous mistakes and thank you for acknowledging that. Um, firstly, I just want to thank God, of course, for making this possible. Um, secondly, I'd like to thank our management crew, Peter, uh, um, Hasi, Brucey, and our mentor, of course, Ricardo Manetti. And then um, my family, my grandma, my sister Tasha, my brother Teke. Thank you. Yeah. Who best to award the best entertainment journalist than media guru, guru Cory Duplessis and Daniela Main from MTC, here to give away this award. Good evening, Namibia. Uh, before we continue with this program, allow me just to compliment you tonight, Daniela. You look absolutely stunning, man. Well done. Thank you, Corey. You look very handsome as well. Thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated. Well, back to the program. Ladies and gentlemen, music definitely creates a very nice climax and atmosphere, and so does writing. Yes, and the best entertainment journalist not only gathers this information, but presents it with style and class. Let's have a look at it. Sweep it away this year. The nominees for Entertainment Journalist of the Year are Gordon Joseph. The nominees for Entertainment Journalist of the Year are DJ Maldini. Moyengwa Yabuoshali Shapwanale. Inoda Moto, Dabroshali Shapwanale. Selma Nashiko. The Entertainment Journalist of the Year is sponsored by National Youth Council. 
The Entertainment Journalist of the Year is sponsored by National Youth Council. Well, the suspense is killing me. And the winner is Rinalda Mouton. It goes out to everybody who's ever written an article. It goes out to all the readers. Let's be beauty alive. Thank you. Have a good evening. Many events and performances on stage. Welcome, DNF and Princess of the Airwaves, Matilda Rirukwa. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope and wish that you are having yourself a very good evening thus far, right here in Swakopmund. Yet another newcomer on our beautiful stage tonight is none other than the award of best musical event. Within this setup, many people ensure that music shows run successfully, but also smoothly to the audience satisfaction. Now with all the musical events that have taken place in the year 2014, let us see which one came out supreme. Watch this. The nominees for Best Musical Event of the Year are DJ Globe and DJ Zile, but the nominees Ganga, for Best Waya Waya Musical Event of the Year are Gaza, DJ Globe and DJ Zile, City Ganga, Waya Waya City Lodge. Joyous Gospel Music Competition KK Snapbacks and Tattoos Show Key Square Concert Snapbacks and Tattoos Show Best Musical Event is sponsored by National Theatre of Namibia Best Musical Event is sponsored by National Theatre of Namibia let us know who has walked away with this one. The winner for this category is Gaza. Like the numbers hold. Wheezy, please. I know Angela is this far, but please do. Um, thank you very much. Um, I wasn't expecting to win this one. Um, but uh, I just want to say that organizing an event is something really, really stressful. And I think for this one, really goes out to the fans that uh, they are turned up at the event, that made it a success, and uh, to my team for putting it together. Thank you very much. To the Almighty God for the strength. Thank you. Now, one thing I love about Namibian music is that we've got so many different genres for us to enjoy ourselves. And tonight, I'm getting to introduce a friend of mine. He goes by the name of KK, and he performed on the Big Brother Africa stage last year. He was on my nomination show stage this year, and we're together again, Friday Night Awards. Welcome. Guys, give it up for KK with Katutura Kid. Trying to aggravate a big boss that I know when I salivate All this hot split make froze evaporate 
get lost, I'm trying to be immaculate, emancipate, yeah, I'm lacking faith, I'm a Mac when I rap and immaculate, when you hear that, graduate, yeah, to the dancer life, where y'all beef ain't rapping, my dude pro be strapped tonight, riding up, let me appetite, uh, tell a dude one time, trying to front, picture with that punchline, better come straight when you come to mind, cause it's been a long way and I'm still on my prime, eat crap, dude, we don't care what you crap, dude, mess around with my click, dude, mess around Shoot dice with my Nazi. When I'm in Dolom, you know I'm hustling with skillums. I'm ripping out my Lugas. Come in the hero, Lugas. Freedom, then we gon' sell them. When they yes, I'ma tell them. It's got to do that. Hey, hey, it's got to do that. Yeah. Turn up, it's got to do that. Hey, hey, it's got to do that. Yeah. Let's go. I want titles and power. I'm talking. And towers turn my idols to rivals. Now my rivals looking sour. I'm a lion, not devour. They lying, I never cower. I'm dire, they dying. I'm talking bodies on an hour. Peace when I'm out of my cage. Jump on the stage with a half full of rage. Jump on the stage, comes in a race. Never fall flow, I'm surfing away. Get the back in the floor. Shut dudes up with a smack to the door. Round stay raw. Caps come on, raps the low. Gotta go back and forth. Woo. What you talking about? Break red and bamboo or gas it. Shoot dice with my nasty. When I'm in Dolom, you know I'm hustling with skillums. I'm repping now my locus. Come here, the hero locus. Freedom land, we gon' sell them. When they yes, I'ma tell them it's got to do that. Hey, hey, it's got to do that. Hey, turn up, it's got to do that. Where you at? Throw your hands up. Green well, have an out here. And if you rep your hood, they say it with me. Hey, 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 let's go. Hey, 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 let's go. Hey, 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 let's go. Hey, hey, okay, 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 okay. I'm so cursed. Never put a girl first. Shoot dice with my nasty. When I'm in Dolom, you know I'm hustling with skillums. I'm repping out my locus. Come in the hero locus. Feed them, then we go sell them. When they yes, I'ma tell them it's got to do it. Thank you. The nominees for the song of the year are Beast Lately DJ Globe na DJ Zile Wire Wire KP Illust Jazz and Jealousy featuring Enkai and Monique English Paradox Chasing featuring Ali That Dude X Bunch Ones Back to Cassie The song of the year is sponsored by Huawei Technologies. The Namibia Diamond Trading Company, NDTC, is proud to be associated with the 2015 Namibian Annual Music Awards. As the primary vehicle for growing the diamond manufacturing industry, we optimize the value of diamonds by sorting, evaluating, selling and marketing diamonds mined by Namdeb and Deb Marine. This important partnership is underscored by our appreciation of smart collaboration, thus our sponsorship of the best collaboration of the year category. 
Diamond sorting and valuation requires hard work, time, commitment and above all discipline. So, we appreciate the patience and discipline it takes for an artist to succeed. And which is why we also sponsor the most disciplined artist of the year category. The Namibia Diamond Trading Company, adding value to the local music industry, one carat at a time. The National Theatre of Namibia is a national organization for the promotion and development of performing arts. We provide art lovers with a diverse range of performing arts ranging from theatre, music, dance, comedy, poetry and many more creative art forms. We cater for all audiences from children to adults and offer educational programs for the development of the performing arts in Namibia through our children's theatre, art beats and other projects. The NTN provides fully-fledged rental space for production and events and provide comfortable recreational facilities for our audiences. NTN. Everyone is a performer. Hey, baby, thank 
go me to pen go me to shash on the cool hole Oh, thank you now I love you so much It's your boy Namibian Annual Music Awards Industry Night 2015. And um, the ladies, I see that uh, Kalox took us away for a minute. Uh huh. Oh, what a night it is. Oh, what a night. Do, do, do. Girls look good. Oh, what a night. <laughs> Paul? Oh, what a night. Paul? Oh. Paul, it's don't not, get carried away. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't, don't get carried I was, away. I thought it was the party time, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We are going to do that later. Yeah, and I must say, you do look like we're going to attend a party right now. Again, a special thank you again. Looks the vintage guru. My goodness. He keeps surprising me backstage. I see a suit, I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. And then, of course, also have to thank Usuta for this beautiful, beautiful dress. <laughs> yes. All right. And, of course, this event is very, very successful every year. And this, we must say, a heartfelt thank you to MTC and the Namibian Broadcasting Corporation, NBC, for their continued and overwhelming support for the performing arts in Namibia. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now tonight we not only see industry professionals, TV and radio presenters and MCs on this stage, but artists themselves also making appearance right here. Oh, yes. And the next category is that of best live performance. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm an honest man. The first time I saw the script, I thought this person was a man. So uh, it was to my surprise that it's the beautiful lady who actually presents the sports TV, Innocent, who's going to be giving away this award. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Innocent. No, he didn't. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Well, good evening, everyone. <laughs> well, as we all know, live performance is quite a very interesting category. And of course, not an easy one because the adrenaline that runs through the performer and the, uh, and the fans is quite phenomenal. Let's have a look at the nominees that we'll be battling it out on this live stage tonight. The nominees are. The nominees for Best Live Performance are Boniface Castro Little Eddie Ongoro no Mundu Shaito Best Life Performance is sponsored by Castle Light. Oh well, the winners are on the Mundu. Uh, first of all, I would love to thank the Almighty for the grace. Secondly, I would love to thank the management and the president of Ongorono Mundu. Thirdly, I would like to dedicate this award to all our fans and to Selo and Selo Marenga and Nancy. This is for your wedding. Thank you. On stage to present best single, welcome Kaylin Kalondo and Lena Mbandi. Before I start, I think we'd all agree that my partner looks rather ravishing in her white ensemble. Thank you, and accordingly you look stunning. Thank you. Now, it is not always best to be single, but if your single is the best, now that is reason to celebrate. 
Singles are often a pre-release of what's to come, and tonight we celebrate the best of those singles. And the nominees are... The nominees for best single are... Chikune, Pumpkin. Exit, Killer or Star. Gaza, Shuna featuring DJ Bucks and Uhuru. MJ, Don't Give Up featuring The Dog and Florita. Fuzzies, No Worries. Best single is sponsored by Met Health. And the winner is Chikune. I didn't expect this at all. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank God the Almighty for giving me the talent. Uh, my family, uh, Mami, Papi, Onjo, Jambaita, Mieta Kunganda, Mieta Kunganda. I'd like to thank the Lightness for being here with me, the Cock family for always supporting me. Ogopa Butterfly, this is for you. And then I'd like to thank ooh, the whole management team, everybody for being there for me, especially my fans. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And for lastly, for bringing me close, uh, for introducing me to the music industry, Berthold, be for show, Onji, it's for you. Yes. <laughs> and lastly, 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 ah, I forgot what I was saying now. Hey. <laughs> I'm so excited. MTC, M MBC, thank you very much. Have a great night. The nominees for the song of the year are Beast Lately DJ Grove na DJ Zile Wire Wire KQ Illust, Jazz and Jealousy featuring Enkai and Monique Ingle. Paradox, Chasing featuring Ali That Dude. X Bunch Ones, Back to Cassie. The song of the year is sponsored by Huawei Technologies. to your hometown with that awesome soccer moon or amazing vent hook coke will be right there for you to share find your hometown coca-cola big buddy today and share a coke with namibia coca-cola open happiness
Now, ladies and gentlemen, remember that Song of the Year is still open for voting until tomorrow night. So make sure that your vote counts. Now, the next performer, he says, killer all star. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for exit. and tribulations the pain the anger the chapters philosophical I'm the truth in the booth I want to see your hands up in the air if you feel me in your soul right now oh. Namibia what's up let me see you wave with me right here real quick I hear no people screaming Shaka, Fatuka I like that Shaka, okay. Fatuka Flex Bob Yeah boy I hope you're ready for Namas 2015 uh, This is the Giants playground Who fun and go poke I make them ladies sell to D Call them Penelope Electrocuting unbelievers be your coca topic Hashtag a real nigga when you do it Must do a buried must of this fake is a hundred feet I'm on that Bob Marley go what the nearly my black They wanna crucify me for my truth in the booth So I switch from my icon by pressing that power button I tell him I see me, I tell him I rap it I tell him I really wanna hold it down like my niggas in Josie I tell him I made it, I tell him I kill it you walk in in my shoes, then you cause the yama cause the yama Shadu ka, 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 shadu ka I rub the black and disappear like a shadu ka, shadu ka, shadu ka, shadu ka I kiss the girl and disappear like a shadu ka Everybody, the best producer in the country, that's what it is. Bring it, my Volvo. Uh. Local is liquor, huh? Yeah, boy. Oh, 
Kwanza chimwe chili monjila Wazala Nenja chota kumbola Nenja toda pomboka Wazala Nengi toto ndoka Nesa Nenja poda ponoka Nofuna Shiva kene siku Kene siku Kene siku ineshka Noloya kene siku Kene siku Kene siku ineshka Ndoko tola kene siku Kene siku Kene siku ineshka Nototika ine siku hands and abilities of few best producer of the year award on stage tonight toward this Shaniqua and Florita good evening ladies and gentlemen being the best is not as important as doing your best only then can we determine what our best is and that should be good enough Best producer for that matter is being recognized as best in the industry. Who would that be for the year 2015? Best producer is sponsored by Directorate of Arts. And the winner is Arafat. Arafat. Yo, uh, well, 
I, I seriously did not expect this award. And you know what? I'm not going to take the, the shine either. The previous award was the death of xenophobia. This is the burial of xenophobia. That's about it. Musical interlude says just that as Sutson the Mighty Dreadlocks brings us a musical melody of one terrific musician. Jambaka hengete hi venge shangambali ya kawira momano gemli ya menye popepi nondomba hili liye mwikwiti. Johnny hakwera wa hile komierele omshek. DJ Rondong the beat Rastaman are ready for Mashidong right here. Sin. See, let me see now if you still remember this one. So I want to see the youth, you know, playing and learning to play instruments, to 
in pits playing monotonous music. Yeah, this one is Tatequelas, nephew, Dasunya Shikongo. Yep. Positively, remember the Rastaman advocate for peace, love, and unity. Jobless. Business personalities and achievers in their own right, Hazel Hinda and Jandira Ileka, here to present the Lifetime Achievement Award. Good evening, Namibia. Can we get a round of applause, please? The Lifetime Achievement Award is awarded by the Namibian Annual Music Awards Executive Committee and other music awards around the world to recognize the contributions over a whole of a career of the musician rather than a single contribution. Often, one award is not sufficient to give honor and nobility to one's lifetime's hard work and achievement, but for tonight, it will have to do. Namibia. Let's look at the Lifetime Achiever for, tw for the year 2015. The Lifetime Achievement Award is sponsored by Directorate of Arts. We're going to move to the north of the country now. And we have uh, some music from uh, Namibia, from the north. Popular musician, his name is Quella, and this is what he looks and sounds like. It is said, but the late Atokwela is not here to receive his award. We will be receiving a family member on his behalf. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's very sad watching the video um, that I actually never uh, saw before. Um, 
So, anyways, we are here to thank the Namas, the MTC. We've got a bunch of thanks that goes to Executive Chairman, Mr. Teams. Thank you, sir. But, uh, otherwise, I'm, I'm strong. All about here. Good evening, Namibia. You just bring Daddy back. Thank you so much for keeping him alive. We appreciate so much. This award goes to him. Daddy, this is for you. Namibia C loves you. Wow, Namibia, it has been absolutely amazing, fabulous and a very, very new experience being your host for tonight. And we have seen 17 awards receiving 17 new owners, bank accounts going up, and of course, a whole lot of happy smiles in this place. And then of course, this is five years of hard work, not only from the NAMA organizers, but also from you, Namibia, the talent makers. Oh yes, now the excitement does not end here. Tomorrow we have a Saturday uh, award show, and you can catch that on NBC One as of 8 p.m. And you can catch the likes of Ashwin, you have the, uh, the likes of, of course, uh, Mavis, and of course, Gaza as well will be hosting tomorrow. Interesting, Not yeah? forgetting you can get Pombili Shilongo and uh, Melton Huro on the blue carpet, Chops and Weya in uh, the blue room, and then, of course, excellent and many, many performances. Now, before I go, I just want to say, of course, MTC loves to give us entertainment. This is not the end. We see our Trey songs in 29 days, Mr. Slow Motion himself. I hope you've got your ticket. I have mine. Do you? I thought it's only the ladies that are excited about ah, Trey songs. Ah, I'll be right there. It's time <laughs> for the single men to look for ladies when you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, from my coastal town, Swakopmund, we're not saying goodnight just yet. We have one more performance for you. Oh, yes. There's white sheep, but this guy is the black. The blackest of them all, if there's such a word. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Black Sheep onto stage for our closing performance. Thank you so much. Good evening. Hey, yo. TBD. Give 
the Namibian Onion Music Industry Awards 2015, live from Sokobmund, Namibia. It's a cell. 